Okay. So when you take a look at the uh, the bench itself, I did a little bit in perspective, all the way tapered. But again, if you do this as an isometric, it would work just the same. Uh, going to the right vanishing point, all these verticals are kind of going at a slant, and the bench is kind of going in the distance as well. But just uh, taking a look at that and the image, if I uh, just kind of retrace the beginning of how this was put together, it's, it's that much easier. So again, even if I just lightly sketch this out just to show you the the uh, freehand part of it first, you know, here's you're estimating the overall length, width, and height of this object. If you go up about half the distance, and you can just eyeball it or cross the diagonal, that's going to give you where the bench part is. If I show the hidden line, it'll show the, the bench part where you're sitting. And this part with the angle, I can taper it right here. And that's the part where you rest your back. Now, just by thinking of the front of this, it's going to be the, the beams that hold up the bench itself. So one you kind of see, one are kind of hidden. <coughs> and this has a little bit of an armrest right on top of it. So once it intersects right there, that gives you a little bit of a start right there. So I'll just do a little bit of the preliminary image right there. So that's the front of that one. And this goes back here. And it's going to come up about this high, right? Estimating that part. And builds it up there. So there you can kind of see the beginning of it. If you did the side of this panel, right there, and I'll just do it light because the, the bench is going to be there. Right in here is going to be where you're sitting, right on this platform here. <coughs> and I'll just put a, a first, first stroke. So all you have to do is find the front of it, which is right up here. You can kind of see the little rectangular shape that you're sitting on. <coughs> and uh, all you're doing is putting some equal lines here. So you could even use the scale if you wanted to to measure out just some equal distances. You can visually place it in there. There's about six uh, boards. So even if you shortened up one part here just to make a center line to help you, you can estimate the center. And once you have that, just, you can even take a straight edge and just place them all back there. This I don't have going to a vanishing point. I'm just trying to keep it as parallel as I can. And if it comes off, then just compensate with your straight edge. And that gives me those lines going back. <coughs> when you take a look at the edges, just illustrate those edges, giving it that beginning part. And right next to it, I can give it a little bit of a thickness to it. <laughs> Myself here. <clears throat> and that gives me that the bench that you're sitting on. <clears throat> the parts that go up, this makes it a little bit easier, but nevertheless, I'm just going to make the <clears throat> the section of this, and I'm overlapping it in pen like the pencil will show. <clears throat> There's the thickness of the armrest. Here's the thickness of the back of the, the bench there. <clears throat> Here's this part with the structure of it. And again, the straight edge makes it a little bit easier to, uh, <clears throat> not only illustrate, but place in there. And this part that goes to this back section, I'm just going to extend it up a little bit higher. And this part goes across.
so that builds that piece in the back. This part that has a little curve, I can wait on that <coughs> and just come in here and make this top piece. Okay. <clears throat> so here's what looks like the tricky part. I just have to establish how big this bench is going to be back here. <clears throat> how tall it's going to be. Finding the same angle. And now I have this rectangular shape. <clears throat> There's 14 of those pieces in there, but I just have to establish that. So I'm trying to create this diagonal section here, like that. And if I divided with that line, if I look at this foreground line right here, and divided it in half, and another half, and then just keep dividing it a little bit, it's going to give me eight of those, and I can divide that in half again. So I'm just using this as a measuring piece. So now as I go back, I'll do this real light. I'll just do a few so you can get the idea, not clog it up too much. Wherever these points m clicked here, it's going to be where they go vertically up. And if I cross the diagonal the other way, it'll help me out by giving me this vertical piece. <coughs> so here it comes up to here. And if I give this a thickness to it, It'll give me the bench itself. It's just that easy. It gets a little tricky, but it's really once you get it in there, it's pretty easy. <clears throat> and it gives me that section. So now, let's start down here. Start here. That gives you the first beam in the section as you draw it, a little thickness to it, establishes that part right, right together there. So it gives you a little bit of uh, selection all the way across. And just to emphasize where those are, just put a little shadow on it. So that's how it is. It's very, very uh, easy once you get the hang of it, placing that in there. Here's the edge of the, the banister there. And the edge of this plank right here. Notice they've crossed their beams here. A bit of dimensional drawing there. There you have it. 